Hi, this is Pastor John from Millerville Community Church, and this is Evening Vespers. Tonight's meditation is taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 23, verses 13 to 25. Pilate called together the chief priests, the rulers, and the people, and they said to them, You brought me this man as one who was inciting the rebel people to rebellion. I have examined him in your presence, and I have found no basis for your charges against him. Neither has Herod, for he sent him back to us, as you can see. He has done nothing to deserve death. Therefore I will punish him, and then release him. But the whole crowd shouted, Away with this man! Release Barabbas to us! Barabbas had been thrown into prison for an insurrection in the city and for murder. Wanting to release Jesus, Pilate appealed to them again, but they kept shouting, Crucify him! Crucify him! For the third time, he spoke to them, Why? What crime has this man committed? I have found him in him no grounds for the death penalty. Therefore, I will have him punished and then release him. But with loud shouts, they insistently demanded that he be crucified. And their shouts prevailed. So Pilate decided to grant their demand. He released the man who was, had been thrown into prison for insurrection and murder, the one they asked for, and he surrendered Jesus to their will. The mob is outside the gate, and they're shouting for the blood of Jesus Christ. They've been doing this a long time. There is a global movement. It's always been there for thousands of years to silence the voice of Jesus Christ as he speaks through his people. And the prophets have been silenced and killed, and Christians have been persecuted, and Bibles have been burned. And more recently, we have been banned and silenced on social media. We've been told not to mention the name of Jesus at uh, public gatherings or to pray or to carry Bibles to work or to schools or other places. The pushback against Jesus Christ has been there a long time and continues to be there. But it's beyond all reason. It makes no sense. There is no justice in it. And here we see a demand for him to be silenced, but there is no cause for it except for one, which is Jesus is the truth, and our word about him is the truth. And people don't want the truth because they prefer the chains that they have forged and they have adopted in their life. Jesus comes and tells us some pretty harsh things, but most of all in love, he says, free yourself of sin, of the deceptions and the lies, the things that have such control of you, for they will call you to turn violently on all that is good and destroy everything that God has placed in your life. That is the nature of sin. That's why we need to turn back to God and ask him to be our King, Jesus, over our life, that he might rule and reign, and preserve and grow and make manifest the kingdom of God and all its good fruits in our lives. Let us pray. Lord, we know that the accusing voice is not yours. We know, O oh God, that the judgment that you have placed upon this world is sure. And even as the world demands courts and other institutions to take action against you and God and the church and the Bible and your word, we still stand with you. For we will prevail as we have for thousands of years. We will prevail again. For we stand with Almighty God and with the power and the authority of Jesus Christ, for which no other power on earth can withstand. It didn't work when they tried to crucify you and silence you. It will not work 
today. God, the Word of God will go forth and bear fruit, and many lives will be saved and transformed. O oh God, turn our wayward hearts back to you tonight and every day of our lives. We pray this in your name. Amen. God loves you so much, and I'm glad you found Vespers, and you keep coming back, and I hope you will. If you've enjoyed Vespers, would you hit the share button below, or the like button, or leave a comment, or send a link to an email, but let other people know about Vespers and our ever-growing family of faith Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. Until we get together next time, this has been Pastor John from Millerville Community Church, encouraging you, as always, to keep the faith and to share it too. Come escape the city. Come to God's country. Come to God's people. Come to God's word. Welcome to Millerville Community Church. We're just a short drive away.